Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. It's today very excited to check it out. Exit the game of the Forbidden Castle from Cosmos. This is for one to four players. Age is 12 plus, so it'll take about one to two hours to play. And Exit is the uh, extremely popular brand in which it's an escape room inside of a box. So essentially there's going to be puzzles in here and you're going to have to try and solve all those puzzles and spin this little spinner and solve all the different clues in order to escape from the Forbidden Castle. Now this is actually uh, a quasi-expansion to one that I've already reviewed called, I believe, The Haunted Cabin, I think it was, which I really enjoyed. We had to get out of this cabin. This guy had set up this cabin of death where you're going to die in the cabin unless you can solve all the clues. And now you got out and you're like, hey, we're in the castle now and it's haunted same guy hey what's up larry and you're trying to escape the castle now i thought that was a great game so i had very high expectations for that this is the only the second time that i've played uh an exit game but i've played quite a few others of the unlocked series the uh the macgyver series i've done escape rooms in person so needless to say very excited about this one but let's talk about what i thought about it because obviously i'm not going to open everything up because there would be tons of spoilers and that would be you know, maybe I will do that next time. But but anywho, I'm not going to open it up, but I'm just going to talk about my experience with it. So let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. Starting with the pros, because I, I actually really did not like this game, as you can probably tell by the score down here. And this is actually a really difficult game to review, because it's incredibly subjective. What is hard? What is not hard? And I actually, I got done watching this, and I went and watched some other people's reviews of it, just to see... Am I just really dumb? Is my group just not smart? What's the deal? So starting off with the pros, there was a few of the puzzles that I felt were clever. So if you've never done one of these, it pretty much boils down to there's like eight, nine, ten puzzles and you have to figure them out. And sometimes you'll be working on two puzzles at a time and sometimes you'll have to like, uh, you won't know that clues are interconnected and you have to try and figure all of that out. And I will say there was one or two puzzles where I was like, oh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty neat generally towards the beginning of the game. Now, I do want to mention that with a caveat, because towards the end of the game, I just wanted the, the game to be over. I really was not having any fun at all. I was bored out of my mind. I was still trying, still putting forth the brain power and trying to solve everything, but I just didn't care. And then the people I were playing with just didn't care. It got to the point where I was like, do we just want to call this? And they're like, no, we got to power through. We're going to get through this. And everybody that I was playing with, and it was me and two other people, and we just we were just not feeling it but there were some puzzles that were clever that we enjoyed that were neat they gave us those aha moments it's like haha i figured it out you felt good continuing on with the pros i i i uh i'm at a loss here i'm really at a loss for words you know if you know my channel speechless is not normally something you see of me too often but i don't know if i had too many other pros with this one it's um it's really difficult that's 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 what i'm gonna give you there it's really difficult at least for the three of us it was really difficult so if you're looking for a very difficult escape room this is one i would recommend now that being said it's only four stars out of five so five being expert so it's not insanely difficult i guess but i want to try a five star now to see if it's harder than this because i don't i, I don't know I, I i'm done with the pros i just gotta get to the cons because i didn't have fun with this i was bored i was frustrated i was frustrated in uh not in like the good way like sometimes you get frustrated with the game and then it'll, like when you solve it you're like yeah it's, that's that's how escape rooms are supposed to work you're supposed to get frustrated then you're supposed to like have the epiphany and you're like yeah we figured it out we're so smart i didn't get that with this game when we looked at the clues and our grand total as i want to mention now was two hours and 17 minutes with 17 clues we needed 17 clues now i want to set your mind for the kind of people playing so it's me obviously and you know i'm all over the board you know I, I, I'm I'm an I'm an intelligent guy. Sometimes it doesn't come off that way, but I'm an intelligent guy. I don't win most of the games I play, but I'm in the running. I got good strategies and look at things differently. So I'm always a good guy to have in one of these because you know I can look at things differently and I love uh, number problems especially. Uh, and then I had uh, my buddy Jimmy who's playing with me. He comes to my game night pretty regularly and he wins a lot. He's very good at games. He's 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 very intelligent. He's very good at games. And then I had my buddy Alan who comes to my game night quite frequently, and he wins a lot of games as well. So we had two people who are really good at games that are both pretty intelligent, and then me. So I was expecting us, you know, well, bang, 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 we'll do this pretty well. And no, that was not the case. And when we got clues, and this was the part that I really did not like about this game, is when we got the clues and we started to figure out the solutions, there were a couple things that, that became evident with this particular copy of the game. And, and the first one was, 
I had those moments where it's like, when you take the clues in, in other uh, uh, escape room games, a lot of the times, there's two ways you're going to feel. You're going to be like, oh, duh, we should have been able to figure that one out. That's so clever. That's the good one. That's the good experience you want to have with an escape room. This one, I was like, what? Why the hell would anyone think of that? It just, ah. And that really is what my biggest issue with the game was, with this particular iteration of it. It just felt like the people who created the game were like, hey, 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 look how clever we are, guys. No, you're never going to figure this out, but we did. When we were writing up the game, we figured it out. Look how cool. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. And, and it, ah, it just felt like that with so many of them. Now, and I'm also going to mention some quasi-spoilers, but they're not really that big of spoilers. There's some folding in this game and it does not work out well and i've done a lot of the escape rooms will, will go to the folding because it's it, there's clever and unique ways to use the folding and the folding this one was just frustrating and i actually watched a review with dan the game boy geek who pretty much has the same sentiments that i do where it didn't feel or maybe it was maybe it was tom it didn't feel like fun it was a chore and there were some there were some puzzles in this that just felt like a chore. It was like, yeah, I know what we're supposed to do. I just don't want to do it. And it's, it's just, this is not fun. It feels like I'm working trying to get this folded thing in precisely how I need to get it. And, and it just ugh. And then some of the components we had some issues with. And I'm not going to go too much in detail, but we had to use one component to to figure out one of the clues. And the component didn't feel like it was properly measured like it, it felt like the component we were using was slightly too big for the purpose we need to do and so you know uh, i don't want to get into spoilers here let's just say i wasn't the biggest fan of the components in this one and there's not much this is a pretty minimalist components thing you got your cards you got more cards you got some normally got some super secret stuff in the box that's another thing uh there wasn't anything that i found overly clever in this one where it's like oh that was really cool like i remember in uh, the um the cabin one there was one where it was like oh my gosh that's so clever of them that was really cool of them to think of that i didn't have any of those in this one and by about the 50 minute mark i was just i i, I wasn't having fun and it it boiled down to another thing too which didn't happen in the cabin one in the cabin one we started off with four players, and then we, about three-fourths of the way through, had to go to three players because somebody had to leave. And that's one of the great things about this game. And that's another pro, I will say, about this game. You can have drop-in, drop-out capabilities. So there's another pro. Pat the game on the back for that. Um, but with this one, it didn't do that as well. It, it boiled down to, it was like, oh, I, I, need that, I need that piece of paper. And then it's like, there's three of us who all want to look at that piece of paper. And so we either have to like get really stinking close and look at it from the same angle. But then sometimes you'll need a card. You'll be twisting the card. And then it just leaves one or two people who are just going to like, eh, I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. And yeah, you can try and work on some other stuff. But there's a very good chance that you're not going to have enough information out to even be working on that. Which just means you're just going to be running in a circle and getting frustrated and i didn't like that I, I didn't like that at all it reminded me a little bit of the macgyver escape room game which they sent me to review and i still have not reviewed it because i wasn't having that much fun with it and this is the same way except i was having less fun with this because at least in the macgyver escape room game it didn't feel cheap this feels cheap you ever played a video game where you're, you're just walking along and walking along and walking along and just bam punched in the face and you're dead and it's like wait how the hell was I supposed to know that was coming, video game? That's not fair. And then so you load the game. Then it's like, you're walking along, you're walking along. It's like, oh, now I know to duck. And I escape certain death. That's what this game feels like. It's just like, no, no, that's not how most people would, you would, would, wouldn't think of that. It, it's just the puzzles felt cheap. Like, not cheap and like the component. Yeah, I guess they did feel cheap component-wise, especially that stupid folding one. I, I just, I didn't have fun with it didn't have fun with it it was two hours and seven minutes of me not having fun and i would say that the fun started to die around the 30 minute to one hour mark for the three of us and it was different levels too it was interesting too because i could really see the levels uh, of enjoyment dwindling as we continued on but it's the kind of thing where this is a one-off we want to we don't want to feel like we got stupidly outsmarted by the game and, and i don't know Exit of the Forbidden Castle was just a complete flop for me. It did not do it for me. But this this is where the game gets hard to review. Because, are we just dumb? <laughs> because I saw somebody else say this was one of the easiest ones they did. And it's like, what? What the? Huh? 
how is this possible that you just what you did? But I guess everybody comes at things from different perspectives. That being said, this, this is a review channel where I review stuff. And in my personal opinion, this was not fun. I was bored. I was frustrated. And those are not two things I want to be in board games. Like, I play board games not to be frustrated. I play board games, unless it's frustrated, good words. Like, I gotta feed my people or something like that. I play board games to not be bored. And I was both in this game, and it was two hours, and I, we just, it was just, we knew we were gonna use clues. There was some, some of these puzzles were just like, it was like, all right, we can sit here for the next 10 minutes spinning our tires, and we can just get a clue. And we all knew it. It was, it was this looming, like, elephant in the room it's like we're not gonna figure this stupid thing out but we tried we tried we tried try different angles try this try this try this try this, this thing just bam we didn't like it oh one last comment about this game uh and this is more of a nitpick than anything is with the forbidden castle or with the forbidden uh the haunted uh cabin or whatever it was the first one you could replay it like the things were not destroyed whereas this this box this box is never getting played ever again not because i didn't enjoy it but just because everything is just destroyed. You're never going to be able to play this again. But uh, there you go. That was the Forbidden Castle from Cosmos. One that I did not have fun with. One that I would personally not recommend to anybody. And I'd just say, hey, go get one of the other titles. Which presumably I'm probably going to enjoy a lot more than this one. Because I know I enjoyed uh, The Cabin. And, and I will say, this does not sour me off the franchise. In fact, if anything, it piques my curiosity more. It makes me want to try more four-level ones and more five-level ones to see if maybe it was just this one that, that uh, I don't know. But we'll see. There you go. That is Exit the Game for Bidden Castle. One that I'm uh, really hard to review, but one that I did not enjoy at all. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the channel, click on that little Amazon Associates link down below. Buy anything on Amazon. Same amazing, great prices, but it does throw a couple pennies my way. It really does help support the channel. And in the comments below, let me know. What was the last time you were really disappointed with something? Because I was really disappointed with this last night. Me personally, last time I was really disappointed. This is an easy one because it actually happened this past weekend. I took my son to see Detective Pikachu and I saw the trailer and I laughed at the trailer and I love Ryan Reynolds and I really like Pokemon you know I was I was uh, Pokemon Red back in the day for the Game Boy you know that was my jam and I was excited I was like this is gonna be great it's definitely taking more of an adult adult tone while still mixing in the Pokemon and I was I just I was bored I was bored out of my mind with the movie and I'm not a particularly big movie critic most of the movies that I see I really enjoy uh and i can see lots of good stuff in it and because i had i had a movie pass so i'd go and see a lot of the the b-rate horror movies and like the rampages and the skyscrapers that came out last year like these movies that aren't particularly good but they still have some redeeming qualities and this i was just like i i don't know what the redeeming quality of this i i i hated that stupid ass pikachu movie i really didn't like it uh and i never want to see it again but let me know in the comments below what was the last time you were disappointed in something and as always thanks for your time youtube